So, Hannah, there are some organisms that don't have to have sex. They can have sex or not and reproduce two different ways. They're a lot of fun to look at. Seems yeah. like a good alternative. To oh, that's fantastic. We so, so what are some examples? So, for example, Daphnia, these little water fleas that look mm -hmm. like this. Uh, they, we study them um, in our lab, um, and they, they're the mothers, they have three different options um, every time they reproduce. They can produce a clutch of daughters. They can produce a clutch of sons, which are amazingly clones of their mother. Uh, or they can create eggs that need to be fertilized. Mm. And to, for them to be fertilized, of course, you need to have males in the population, but there are not always males in the population. So it's quite a complex system. So you don't system. need very many males. No, you don't need very many males. But you, at some point, you might actually benefit hugely by producing these few males, because then if there's a lot of sexual females in the population, they will have a good time. But so if there aren't, then it's wasted effort. So that would suggest that maybe at times when more variation would be useful, you would make a few males to get more variation in? There's that idea, but actually in uh, a lot of the Daphnia, they have a much more immediate problem, which is winter is approaching. Uh, because in most cases, uh, in most species, it's only these eggs that can that are sexually produced that can go dormant. Uh -huh. So if you have been producing daughters all summer happily and everybody's still a female at the end of the season, you're all dead. So why can't the females live through this? Or the That's just the rule of the game. Just there's, how it works. Yeah, there's, there's actually, um, it's a really fun project uh, that's uh, a theoretical project going on in my lab at the moment asking why is sex and dormancy quite often coupled? Um, so yeah. one way to think about uh, this thing is that another thing that's often coupled is sex and moving in space. Right. Dormancy is moving in time, kind of like trying to mm -hmm. outlive a dangerous period. So, so differing environments mm -hmm. across space or yeah. time induce and sexual reproduction. Yes. Another thing that induces sexual reproduction is basically having a bad time. If you are right. starving, if you are stressed because of chemicals in your environment, if you are anything that's kind of like making individuals perform badly in the current environment, mm -hmm. that tends to make them sexual. And now, it's almost now, like... Let's move on to aphids. Right. Okay. Yeah.